I received an electrical drain cleaning machine from Vivo, an online dealer for tools of all kinds. The machine ships with a spiral of 14m50 length and various tools for pipe diameters ranging from 20 to 100mm. A second, 4m50 long spiral is placed in a metal drum. Also included in the package are a pair of gloves and a fairly brief instruction manual. There are many high resolution photos of the machine and all accessories on the website of how open is this gadget. Let's first take a look at what is inside the machine. The plastic side panels are each attached with 4 screws and can be easily removed with a screwdriver. The pipe cleaning machine has a solid metal frame on which all components are mounted. The robust drive motor has an electrical input power of 250 watts. Apart from a capacitor and the switch, no electronic components are installed, the motor is driven directly by mains voltage. The upper shaft is hollow, the metal spiral is guided and driven through this. The shaft is driven via a timing belt and two plastic pulleys with a gear reduction of 58 to 16. While around 400 revolutions per minute can be measured on the shaft, the motor rotates at around 1400 revolutions per minute. When idling, the machine draws an electrical power of around 225 watts. The rated 250 watts will be reached when a load is applied to the spiral. The motor switch, with which also the direction of rotation is dialed, is located on top of the frame. This mechanical switch looks very robust, which also applies to the electrical contacts inside of it. The clutch is made entirely of metal. The main element is composed of three parts with conical ends. These components are pushed apart by springs, so that the central hole is larger than the diameter of the metal spiral. That unit is placed between two pipes. If the right pipe is moved towards the clutch via the lever, the spring loaded parts are compressed. The central hole of the clutch becomes narrower and so can grip the metal spiral. Note that the clutch lever is usually mounted so that it is pushed down to activate the clutch. Here I rotated the lever for 180 degrees to give you a better view on the mechanics. The metal spiral is inserted into the device from the rear. The drum with a thin 4m50 long spiral can be attached to the rear of the machine. With a drum, the rear end of the metal spiral does not stick out of the machine during operation. If the motor is turned on, the drum including the spiral does not rotate at first. Not until the clutch lever is activated, the spiral and the storage drum start rotating. After releasing the clutch lever, the spiral can be moved axially out or in. Burai's tools can be attached to the front end of the long spiral which is suitable for pipe diameters larger than 20mm. A spring loaded pin locks the tools in place. To loosen the tool, a mandrel must be inserted into the appropriate hole to push down the locking pin. As demonstration I fill a piece of pipe with 75mm diameter with some soil.
The blocking is located at the rear end of the test rig, which consists of 3 straight sections and 2 45 degree arcs. The spiral automatically works its way into the pipe when operating in forward direction. The long spiral is divided into 3 sections of 4.80 m each. The section must be completely unwound from the drum, as the rear end also rotates as soon as the clutch is activated. As can be seen, the spiral twirls with ease through the blockage at a depth of around 5.50m. If the motor is switched to reverse direction, the spiral comes out again. Many high resolution photos of the machine and more information can be found on the website of how open is this gadget. Thanks for watching and I'll be back.